possible. you are into systems. Okay. So, <laughs> is it possible to have this um, regulatory agency set up to monitor? Because the truth is, you, you've just talked about the, the police. I mean, before you came here, we had security personnel who talked about the fact that the police is overstretched. So, a regulatory agency whose sole job is to actually sit down and monitor what's going on there so that the fake news and the real news can be separated. The fake news guys punish, the real news guys possibly rewarded. So I have oh. very bad news for you. Oh, okay. But it's real news, not... <laughs> no, real news, not fake news. Real, real bad news. <laughs> so just a, a note of caution. Anybody that conceives that is a joke. Look, I mean, sometimes I see how we do things around here. Their beer parlor conversations are made to sound like a sad discovery. It's not going to happen. I am the vice president of Institute of Software Practitioners of Nigeria. And that's a real professional body. And I feel for him. How do you even get people to come and register? Because today, everybody's an expert in IT. Somebody that studied psychology, but he knows how to use Twitter very well. That is an expert. So how do you want to regulate some of these things? By law. It's not going to happen. However, there's good news as well. Okay. Good so news is that... start with the good news? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm giving you the bad news. Okay. Okay. That's, That's just the good news. <laughs> anybody that tells you that they're going to set up an agency wants to embezzle money, pure and simple. It's not going to happen. How do you do it? The good news, however is that the fourth industrial revolution that emphasizes artificial intelligence, machine learning, can make a number of things happen. However, and you need to underlie my language, however, it depends on who owns the platform. Mm. And that's one of the reasons why Nigeria is losing out big time. We don't own any we platform. Don't own any platform. Mm. We don't own anything. We consume what everybody else is doing. And that's why an arrogant Donald Trump can say Africa will just turn them off. It pains, it hurts us, but it's telling the truth. Because somehow we are not the people given to development, we just want to consume. Yeah. And until yeah. we come to the point where we actually own our platforms and control those platforms, that we can say certain things. Let me tell you what happened. So I, I, I was in Microsoft a few months ago. And I was in a meeting with their topmost echelon. And I'm discussing their CEO, C level. And these kind of things happened, even in Microsoft. And they sued the government of the United States to court. Because the government of the United States said that Microsoft had to present somebody that had posted something on their media. And they said, no, we cannot produce the person. And how did they do? They just went on data sovereignty. That that data that we are even asking for doesn't even exist on American soil. And they went to court. And they won. So we are doing things in Nigeria. We don't even have data sovereignty. Government data is all over the world. And you are telling me you want to regulate. That's a big joke. Until Nigerians begin to understand. So that's, that's why China, for example, can say we are shutting down Facebook. Because they have certain things that allows you to shut down traffic to certain ports and certain addresses. But when you say you are doing that, they provide their own alternative. Yes. What is the Nigerian alternative? So that's why I say when people say certain things, we can sensationalize things all we like, but until you put thinkers where thinkers should be, we will continue to be a joke of a nation. Mm -hmm. And we continue to hear these kind of things, and we think we are celebrating something. It's not going to happen. Okay. okay. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, let me just read. Let me read you some tweets here so that you can tie them in and respond to this based on this monitoring thing. So, um, Abba, Abba G says, it's not rocket science. It says, government can regulate the social media by ensuring they, all, they make it mandatory for all mobile numbers to be added before an account is active. Since all sims in Nigeria must be registered, people will think twice before posting or sharing fake news. So before you open any account, will that work in the situation where we, as I said, we don't really own any platform in Nigeria. So putting your sim in, 
to as a mark of holding you would that help it anyway? Not really. Even the Nigerian platforms, the most popular Nigerian platform, Naira Land, you know, its, uh, its major selling point is anonymity. So <laughs> <laughs> when, when you have a platform set up for anonymity, I mean, go on that platform. I mean, no disrespect to what they've built, but you'd see all kinds of cyberbullying there because they know that they cannot be personally identified. Right then, if you want to talk about Facebook, to well, based on 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 their own terms and conditions, they have to keep such data uh, private. So SIM cards, no. Um, phone numbers, no. At, at the stage of our development, no. Now, what he said about we owning platforms, if we were to have such platforms that people could trust, perhaps that could be a solution. But we are light years from that. We, okay. Mm. So let's educate us here now. When we say owning platforms, is it the dot com, dot com, dot ng, the social kind of networks? Social networks. Yes. Like he talked about in China, where they've blocked off Facebook, they have their local alternative called WeChat, right? So WeChat, which we're all tying into now. Again. Yes. You know, so they have that over there. But we, what is our alternative? You know, and that's one part of it. There's also the other part of many people do not trust the government. Right? Where do we draw the line between using this for governance versus politics? You know, so there will always be that skepticism, even on the part of the citizenry. Okay, at what point is this social media responsibility versus censorship? Mm. So that's a challenge for you guys. Mm -hmm. yes. We want our own platforms. We don't want to use Facebook anymore. We don't want to use WhatsApp anymore. <laughs> so we're waiting for you guys. <laughs> okay, now Festus says fake news has invaded our political space and will get worse as we draw close to the 2019 elections unless government has the political will to crack down on perpetrators of fake news. Comments? Uh, well, political will to crack down on perpetrators on fake news. Very true. Which is not really doable, is it? Well, it is. Where do you want to find them? Well, it is, it is somewhat doable. I mean, he just mentioned, you know, the first application of that law. However, here is my concern. If Yeah, he has a fixed address. Yes. He has a picture of himself, probably, on his material. But the ones coming out of Iceland and <laughs> Ukraine and the moon. Well, honestly, the most, even on social media, the most trusted handles are those that have real personalities behind them. Right, um, right. So, but my, my concern is that um, political will. But what if that fake news furthers your agenda currently? Do you have the political will to still crack down because it's the law?